something that feels good if it's a bass. Feels like a big one. Feel that drag? Shane Flynn Outdoors brought to you by Omnia Fishing. Experience the most personalized tackle shopping on earth. Also by Bent Rod Fishing. Get bent, stay bent. What a big girl! First bass of the morning. Spinner bait. Don't see me catch too many fish on the spinnerbait in the summertime, but you got this full moon got going on, the wind is blowing, and uh, the bass are moving up in the shallows. So it's uh, come on the 1st of August, end of July here, and, uh, and the wind is just right. So I threw out the spinnerbait this morning. him up on a crankbait. Nothing wrong with that guy. Nice little two pounder there. Got him on a crankbait out here in about 14 foot of water. Turn him up this morning. One thing you can count on is always catching one. Yeah, I'll let you go. Always count on catching one of those guys. Look at that. <laughs> That's a big yellow perch. That's a big yellow perch. Came up and grabbed that crankbait right there. First one of those I've caught in here. Ow, ow, ow. Nice yellow perch. Now these are good eating typically. If I lived in North Dakota and Minnesota, this was a delicacy. Nice yellow perch. I might come out here and target them in the future. There he is. Ah, nice bass. Nice two pounder. I've been seeing these bass down here at about eight feet, 10 feet. He finally came up and grabbed it. Cranking them up this morning. Cranking them up this morning. And these bass are hanging in that 10 foot of water. I caught one early on a spinnerbait, but uh, the shad are just everywhere. Um, I've been cranking it down about eight, ten foot, and uh, keeping the boat about thirteen to fifteen foot of water. And uh, throwing about a ten foot diving crankbait. I'll show you which crankbait. I, it's beat up. <laughs> I've, been throwing, I've been throwing this crankbait for a long time. I get this guy in. Oh, he got off. No, he didn't. Little guy, I've been towing this crankbait for a long time. Easy killer, easy. I'll let you go, I promise. Come here. Um, get this little boy unhooked here. Get that side hooked a little bit. Another little bass, back to back ain't bad. So just your natural, I think this is a, um, a Berkeley, the eyes broke out of it. Moss back, white. Uh, shad color, just a standard shad color with the green back. I throw this color a lot in the crankbait. And that's been really catchy. Nice little 
not mistaken, that's KVD crankbait by Strike King. There's all kinds of great strike, uh, crankbaits out there. I got a bunch of mega bass coming in today or two that I, uh, I ordered. And cranking can be a really good productive way to catch bass in the summertime, or it can be just dead. You just gotta play it by ear. A lot of times. Come on. Oh, he oh, got off. He got off. He got off. He got off. You just gotta play it by ear. Sometimes you can drop a, like a tie tech or a swim bait in there, and the bass will really hit it. Other times they like that crankbait. Today they're liking that crankbait. You can get a few more on. So I, uh, I like to reel down and pause, reel down and pause. Sometimes I'll just give it a little jerk. Look at that. <laughs> and you get a lot of these guys in this one. Live rock. Get out of here, buddy. Thank you. These guys are slime rocking. When I think of pickle fishing, I usually think of grass and moss. You know, they're around the bank. They're down that 10, 12 feet because that's where the bait fish are. That's where the, and that's where the bass are too. It's just that simple. I mean, your predator fish are going to be where the where the forge is, and the forge is hanging out about 10 feet. And even though I'm thinking I'm going to catch nothing but bass, I'm picking up just as many pickerel as I am bass. You know, that's, that's part of fishing. Kind of like my old saying, you got to weed through the little ones to get the big ones sometimes. Sometimes you got to wade through the pickerel to get the bass. That's kind of what's going on today. One key thing I would tell you is when you're on this type of pattern, just keep casting and keep moving. Um, stay in the water column depth that you're catching the fish in. Too many... Ah, he whacked at it, missed it. Too many times, uh, we get a little frustrated, although we catch a few, either we, we don't pay attention to the depth of the water we're in, or the bank, like, this bank is starting to flatten out, it's going to get shallow up here. Um, hasn't yet, but I can see it's coming. But I know the key is 10, 10 foot of water. And I've been keeping the boat in about 15 foot of water. So, stay in that water column that's producing. It's the best, best way to go. I mean, now if it, you get for a long period of time, you don't catch them, maybe it's time to change up. Or, Pike again. <laughs> or get away from the pickerel. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I'll let you off. I'll let you off if you stop bumping. That feels like a big bass. <laughs> it's a big pickerel again. <laughs> no, it is a big bass. Bigger bass. Look at that. Wow, a nice two and a half, three pounder. <laughs> yeah, now I see where you're at. He was down about 10 feet with the pickerel. <laughs> nice two and a half, two and a half pound bass. Let that guy go. It's a giant pickle. <laughs> I can't get away from it. Come here, That's a big one, too. The size of this thing. He's probably a citation. <laughs> He's a citation level pickle from Virginia. Definitely a trophy. 
just a giant pickerel. If it's not my biggest, it's probably close. Get out of here, big boy. Cranking up some bass. Another nice one. Another nice pound and a half, pound and three quarter bass. Right there on the crankbait. There's another one. Right at the boat. Boy, well, he wanted it, didn't he? Easy, Billy. Easy. Oh, they're nice. Right there. Flyers on this guy. Hey, everyone, that's going to do it for today's episode. Did a lot of crankbait today. We caught one on a spinnerbait, but uh, really got on the crankbait today, and that bass were down the 10, 12 foot mark. Um, I am not that pickerel today. Usually he'll mix in here in, in the video. I'll mix a few in there. I've seen big ones. But, you know, the pickerel were down with the bass because that's where the bait fish were. So what I got here, you know, I caught one quick on a spinnerbait in some shallow water because the wind was blowing, but quickly learned that the bait fish were in that 8 to 10 foot water, 8 to 12 foot of water. So I started targeting the bass, running a 10, a 10 foot uh, crankbait, 8 to 10. I, this one is the... Uh, second crankbait, I lost one of my first ones. Uh, this was in a sexy shad color. The other was just a green mossback standard uh, shad color. But running around 8 to 10 feet and just hitting right around the bait fish and targeting the bass. And we were picking up quite a few bass. I think we ended up with 10 bass and about 30 pickerel. Uh, maybe not 30, but a lot. Um, but, you know, sometimes when the bait fish are stacked up like that, you're going to have to deal with the other game fish. Uh, this lake is really populated with pickerel as well as nice bass, so you have to deal with that sometimes when you're out here. Um, you know, the key was just staying in the right water cone. You stay in the same depth that you're catching fish and sticking with it. Um, I could probably sit out here, I've been out here three hours and ten minutes. Uh, I could probably sit out here and catch bass probably for the next two or three hours before I need to change tactics. It is a full, the full moon cycle, you know, two or three days before the full moon and after always good, but we also got some good wind. We get that really good south wind today, so that helps the fish bite a lot. Um, and when you got those, uh, when you got those condition or these conditions, it really helps you catch some fish. So, well, hey, I hope these uh, help you uh, find some ways to, to hone in your uh, your cranking skills in the summer and uh, you catch a lot of big ones. We didn't catch any big ones today, but we caught a quite a few fish. So, thanks for tuning in, folks. And until next time, tight lines and good luck fishing.